Dr. Kariko has chosen a Hungarian song, Gémon es Aron, by Zoran Stefanovic for her music. Dr. Kariko, please join us on stage. indeed that I am so greatly honored to receive the Garner International Award. I remember reading each awardees for every year and I just said, oh my God, oh my God, me too. <laughs> because, uh, and of course now the sharing it with Drew Weissman and Peter Kulis is, is an extra special for me. So as I mentioned, I was not in the spotlight my life has not been like that. For 40 decades, I worked quietly in the laboratory, performing experiments myself, wrote the lab notes, defrost the freezer, <laughs> write the papers. I knew that what I was doing is important and didn't expect anybody to tap my shoulder, praising me for my work. The only big ceremonies, award ceremonies I attended when my daughter won gold medal in rowing in the US Women 8 at the Olympic Games in Beijing and London. I was there where the Canadian women also were very successful, get the silver medal. <laughs> I grew up the daughter of a butcher and a bookkeeper in a small town, 10,000 people live there. And I learned from my parents that hard work is part of life and I learned how to make sausage. <laughs> uh, how did I go from a simple life of a single room with no running water, no television set, no refrigerator, and here in the stage accepting the Garner International Award? I certainly, it was not my intention. I was just a curious girl who watched with fascination all of the plants, animals in our yard, and wanted to learn more about the internal mechanism of all of these living things. I didn't know a single scientist, but uh, I was 16 years old and I wanted and decided that I would be one. Over the time, my curiosity and passion swept me to biochemistry and fascination about mRNA. At the academic setting, I was not successful. I was demoted, I never received an single RO1 grant, and in general, I was not popular with those who followed conventional science, but I have a message. It doesn't matter the circumstances, the skepticism around you. What matters is your conviction, conviction, how hard you work, pursue your passion, and yourself that you believe that you can achieve those goals. As we, as a scientist, uh, work at the bench in the laboratory, performing experiments day after day, and hope that one day, maybe in our lifetime, we can witness uh, advancement, we made beneficial at least for one person, for the common good. We are all relieved and thrilled that uh, our scientific discovery laid the foundation for the development of LM LMP, mRNA vaccine. It is important to note that the vaccine were developed based on century of scientific and technological progress and recent discovery by hundreds of thousands of scientists, doctors, engineer experts, who advanced the knowledge of their respective field and combination of that work led to the uh, creation of this very effective and very safe vaccine. So this award, as my uh, colleague said that, recognizing 
all of this group of work and colleagues who worked diligently through the years and made substantial contribution to the science of mRNA formulation vaccine. The path of scientific discovery is never a straight line. It has twists and turns at every juncture and requires international collaboration, contribution from many, many scientists. My greatest joy in science have been those sm small and large victories in the laboratory. Many times when I get disappointed that uh, my experiment didn't work, there was a quotation written by Leonardo da Vinci, it was a wall on the wall, and it says, experiments never err, only, you, only your expectations. Because you haven't done the experiment, you re expected the result for. So, so I am very grateful uh, to the uh, Gardner Award Selection Committee and all of those people who helped me on my journey. I would like to thank my mentors in Hungary my colleagues at University of Pennsylvania, as they were enthusiastic about the idea of mRNA for therapy and supported my research. I am also grateful Uwur Zahin, given me the opportunity to work at BioNTech in Germany for nine years. Most importantly, of course, I would like to thank my devoted family for their unwavering encouragement throughout the journey, my parents, my husband of 42 years, Otto, right here. Bela Francia, whom I met uh, while we were students. My daughter, Susan Francia, grew up appreciate my lifelong commitment to science. And you might be surprised, but I am also thankful all of those people who try to make my life miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Those, those people who demoted me from faculty position, who fired me from my position, they made me work harder, improve myself. And without them, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> and finally, I would like to encourage the students, especially the girls, to become scientists and both question and make better world for us, for all of us. Thank you. <laughs>